is Massimo Morelli from Trading for Purpose and today I would like to share some observations about what's going on in the cocoa future. Uh, well, as we can see, uh, it is more or less one month since uh, cocoa started to shape but what it could be, what it seems to be, an accumulation base. I have the impression the accumulation base could be uh, at the end because uh, you can see yesterday, uh, not two days ago, uh, Coco uh, made a nice spring and the day after it reacted with, with high volume. Uh, the Gaussian bell looks almost well shaped, so I have the impression uh, this future could uh, could could break about an accumulation base. So I think it will break the trading range to the upside. I also we also have some other hints at it. First of all, the commitment of traders. As we can see, this is the net position. This is not the cut index. But anyway, as we can see. Uh, commercials, the blue line, have never been so bullish about cocoa since more or less five years. Uh, this is a, um, a very strong sign. Uh, the commercials have got uh, expertise and if they are so bullish they should have good reasons and why should we doubt about it. The uh, seasonality is a little bit more uh, confused but interesting in a way. As we can see, this is the five years uh, statistical seasonality pattern and uh, Coco could retrace now maybe to the, 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 lower, the lower level of the trading range, then rally up, then coming down and then started a, a nice long rally until the end of September. Uh, so, I think uh, we could be in a good position to buy this future. We could buy it here, or we could end. We could wait uh, the break, the the jumping, uh, jumping of the creek, uh, the breakout through the trading branch to the upside, upside, and then a little retracement. We could buy here at the last point of support after the break of the trading range. Uh, anyway, it looks to be an interesting situation. Thank you.